Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today. My name is John Drummond, or Yang Haowen. Hello, 大家好，欢迎各位再度来到 Angie 英文。我是 Angela. We have a great episode for you today with my good friend Daniel Lee, who's known around the Taiwanese community as DJ Haas. 没错，你没听错。今天来宾呢，一样也是请到了在音乐界闯荡的 DJ 到节目上跟大家做分享。虽然说都是 DJ 啦，不过每个人的背景多少都还是有点不同嘛，对不对？等一下大家说不定会听到一些有趣的故事哦。My guest today is Taiwanese and has been living the majority of his life in Kaohsiung. He has recently relocated to Taipei to pursue more of his music career. He is a DJ, music director, producer, lover of arguing and talking in English, and so much more. So, everyone, please welcome my good friend Daniel. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Daniel, aka DJ Haas from Gaoshan, Taiwan. Yeah, shout out to Gaoshan. So, Daniel, can you give a little introduction about yourself to our audience here on NG Yingwen? 访谈开始，来宾提到他在高雄待了二十几年之后呢，今年二零二一年终于决定跨出那个跳脱舒适圈内部，搬来台北闯荡，也终于呢成功来到我们录音室接受访谈。那这边等一下，各位听众朋友会听到一个用来表达成功完成目标很到底的一个片语用法是 make it。好，后面有时候呢，因为都是你知我知，大家心知肚明的目标，所以会省略，就比如说 to something 或是 to a place。想要等一下说 he finally made it， 省略的就是后面的 he finally made it to the interview， 啊 ，he finally made it to the studio。意思就是说他终于成功顺利来到录音室接受访谈。那其他类似的用法，还有像是可能，诶、欸，你你满心期待某个朋友来你的生日趴，好了，好，那对方呢也真的来了，那这时候你教他就可以说 ，Yeah, you made it， 就是说太好了，你来了。或是对方如果不确定说有没有办法到场的话，可能呢就会跟你说 ，I don't know if I can make it。那记得哦，因为 make it 这个片语也有成功达成目标的意思嘛，所以在不同情境下， you made it 也可以用来表示你成功了，或是像刚才那句 I don't know if I can make it， 就也可以有我不知道自己有没有办法成功，有没有办法做到的意思，好，就是自己感觉不知道有没有那个在调。好了，听听听，我真的讲的太多了，很搞哎，马上来听今天的内容吧。I used to live in Gaoshan for like over twenty years and working as a DJ. But now I'm living in Taipei because I want to put myself into a new adventures with like a DJ career. Yeah, brother, I love that, and I love that you have kind of began a new adventure here in Taipei. Now you are officially a Tianlong Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, I have been talked to my friends with.、Uh, I'm moving to Taipei. I'm moving to Taipei so many times, but now. 2021, I'm finally made it because there are some stuff in Gaoshan I cannot expect. Yeah.、But、now we are good. We are all good right now. Yeah, man. The pandemic I know changed a lot of career paths for a lot of people and kind of changed just you know the situations that everyone was dealing with. And now we can finally do this show together that we've been talking about doing for years. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, since John invited me to the his radio show like a year ago, I said, yeah, I I will definitely do it. But I have never found a time because well during the years I have been visiting type visiting Taipei so my so many times, but most of the time. I'm still working, or I'm hanging out with friends. I'm super busy, and during the day, I'm mostly hangover and really tired. So I always I feel so sorry to him, but now I finally made it. <laughs> All good, brother. I know you're a busy man, and I'm happy that you have found time today on this beautiful day too. So, can you give? A little bit of an introduction about what kind of music you like to DJ, what genres you are focusing on most with your music career. 
那相信大家应该也都知道說，说身为一名 DJ 啊，你不能只会一种音乐风格嘛。毕竟人生有那么多场合，心里有那么多种 OS， 那么那么多种情绪，我们心里想听的音乐也不会只有一种啊。所以虽然说来宾 DJ h a s 主要是做来自荷兰的硬派音乐居多，但是在夜店里呢，也常常会需要去混很多其他不同曲风的音乐，像是嘻哈啦、好事或是。拉丁等等，好。不过除了这部分的工作以外呢，他最近在地下音乐这一块也放了很多心力，希望可以好好发展他热爱的 trance music 这个出神音乐。这边最后就要用来形容这种音乐风格的 uplifting， 大家可以试着去想想看是什么意思。如果了解出神音乐的听众朋友，那这对你应该蛮容易的哦。那如果不太清楚也没有关系，可以把这个字拆成两个部分来看 ：up 上是上面嘛，往上，跟 lift 举起来。这样子把两个放在一起的话呢，意思应该大家就不难猜了吧？我们赶快来听。Right now, I'm mostly focus on hard style, a general called hard style. It's like a Dutch style, and I'm mostly playing everything because you know I'm working in a nightclub, so I should be able to play like a lot of stuff like hip hop, like house, like EDM, or even like、uh, Latin, like reggaeton stuff. And now I'm put some more focus on my underground. Career like、uh, I love trans music, so now I put my more focus on trans music to see like how it goes. Yeah, man, and I am such a lover of trans and that uplifting trans, especially. Shout out to all of our trans family here in Taiwan for sure. So Daniel, I always am so curious as I've been around electronic music for many years of my life, but I love to kind of get a perspective from my Taiwanese friends, especially my Taiwanese friends who are DJs. So what do you see as kind of the trends right now with different styles of electronic music? 不知道各位对于铁克诺这类型的音乐熟不熟悉呢？铁铁克诺翻成中文真的你讲起来真的蛮有趣的哦。铁克诺就是 techno。好，根据我们这位 DJ 的说法 ，techno 风格的音乐在台湾还不太盛行，大部分的人呢还是比较跟 house 音乐、跟这个 house music 比较熟悉，比较有在听过。好，或是就一般在夜店常会听到那种电子舞曲。不过呢，还是有在慢慢建立啦。现在也也都有人在办一些极简风的 techno 音乐活动来做推广，让大家对它有更多认识。说不定呢，还可以结合台湾人的本土精神，创造出一种有台湾独特味道的 techno 次文化。Well, like I have to say now, in trends in Taiwan is、uh, not so big. As you can see, because I think techno and tech house right now, or melodic techno, it's more popular in Taiwan or in the whole world, especially Europe. Because I was, I'm, I'm glad like Taiwan is following the taste from Europe right now. So yeah, but the trans marketing in Taiwan is not so big. I have seen so many people who is working really hard on the trans part, but. A little bit sadness. It's like the people who is in Taiwan. They still love the classic clubby music, like EDM, like、uh, maybe hard dance, hard style, or house music, like the popular house, or even hip hop. Yeah, I I agree with you. I feel, you know, the the push to more of the underground scene within the techno scene is、mm-hmm. really rising right now. Yeah, there's so many events around Taipei right now that are actually just. Tech house focused and pushing、exactly. more just into straight tech and minimal tech,、yeah. which I think is a very cool scene because、mm-hmm. I think Taiwanese will take that into their own blood, into their own friend groups,、mm-hmm. and then it just creates a whole new subculture for the music scene here. Exactly, and also me and my friends, we have we had a group called Our Music. We are also creating the events like the techno or tech house as well. Yeah, man! Shout out to all the team at Our Music. We've had、uh, Bernie, Bernie on here. We've had DJ Her. Yeah, and we're just getting the whole team because I just love that team so much. So much, much love to Our Music. So a question I love to ask here on NG Ying Wen is kind of the origin story 
of Daniel and DJ Haas. So first of all, maybe can you explain what does DJ Haas mean to you, and when did your music career begin? 好，原来 DJ Haas 在很早还在学生的时候就已经踏入 DJ 的世界了，所以常常都会要工作、学业两边顾。那有一次呢，他在高中在写补习班的英文造句作业啊，在写那个 He has, She has 这种第三人称动词的练习。好，然后然后就突过突然灵光一闪，想说，哎，这个 Has。如果把它变成两个 a 的 has， 听起来应该不错，应该蛮酷的哦，可以拿来当他的 DJ 艺名，所以才会变成今天的 DJ has。结果没想到，竟然有人跟他说，这个 has 在荷兰文里面是兔子的意思。<笑>瞬间就变成 DJ 兔子，也是蛮可爱的啦。那这个荷兰文，它的英文说法是 Dutch。好，注意哦，是 Dutch， 因为是 U 不是 O， 所以要念 a Dutch。那荷兰人或是荷兰的也一样呢，都是用这个字。另外常听到的约会 A A 制，好，这个各付各的英文说法也跟这个字有关哦。我们可以说 Go Dutch。或是也可以就直接说，这场约会呢是一个 Dutch date， it's a Dutch date， 或是 a Dutch treat。好，那不管是哪一种说法，都是来表示今天这场约会啊，大家 A A， 我们各付各的，不要有所看透啊。<笑>赶快来听今天这段内容吧。Well, DJ Haas, this name is coming from the the people who is like doing your English homework right now. You will find the word. If France, like when you are writing the sentence called "he has something" or "she has something," and that "has" word means "has," but I use it for double A. It looks cooler. But、uh, in the after like two or three years, some people telling me like "has" is actually meaning rabbit in Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. So yeah, you were actually doing this from. Homework. You were writing. He has. Yeah, has. because I start. I start my DJ career since I was really young, and I was still in the high school at the moment. So of course, I got some、uh, homework from cram school or the junior high school, and that's what the name come from. That's so interesting. I, I like hearing that. We'll tie that a little bit more into your English career later, but yeah, in terms of also your focus on why did you want to become a DJ? 再来，我们听听当初为什么 Has 会选择踏上音乐这条路嘞？原来呢，某次因缘际会下，在 YouTube 的那个推荐清单上面，有没有发现电音，发现这个 House Music 的存在，让当时才十五岁的他，很快就迷上这个不同于台湾、韩国那种一般流行乐的音乐风格。到后来呢，也开始会去注意一些，像是在 Ultra。在那个 Spring Awakening， 或是像在 Tomorrowland， 好等等这些电音节活动现场的一些设备器材，因为觉得在台上做音乐的人实在是太酷了，所以开始上网看影片自学，开始自己摸索当 DJ 混音的一些技巧，一直到二零一五年的时候认识了他的 DJ 老师，才知道说原来啊，当 DJ 不是像你刚单内不是那么简单。好，不是说就只是刷盘刷一刷，控制器的旋钮转一转就没事了。其中呢，还是有很多美美嘎嘎要学，做出来的音乐才会好听，才会才会余音缭绕。Well, because I started listening some electronic music since I was,、um, I think, is fifteen. So once I was listening some house music from Europe, and it's like、uh, randomly show up on my YouTube channel. So I started listening. I was like, oh. There's a、uh, something different than the Chinese pop music or Korean pop music because at the moment, Korean pop was like turning around the world. So it's like, oh, this music diff- is music style is really different. So I started listening some、uh, electronic music. So once I was checking out some、uh, some people's live set, especially like the festival live set, like Ultra. Like a、uh, spring awakening, like a Tomorrowland, and I saw the people who is like playing electronic music、uh, on the stage. It was really really cool. So I started learning like、um, the DJ stuff, but I was like just only see watch the videos on the YouTube channel. Once I was、uh, met my teacher called DJ Chamber in two thousand fifteen, I think. So I started learning DJ with him, 
And at the moment, I know DJ is not that easy. Yeah, man. DJing is not as easy as it looks. People are yeah. just like, oh, you're just turning knobs. I'm like, bro, you know, I used yeah. to be a tour manager. Mm-hmm. So I was always doing sound checks for my artists. And, you know, it's a very complicated process. And, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like pe- people are always saying like, oh, DJ looks e- so easy. You just, you know, turn, like, uh, put the put the bottoms and, you know, turn on turn the crush fader or something. I'm like, well... If you know how it, you know if you know how it, how how to do it, of course it's easy. But if you don't know, there will be a mess. That's right. That's right. Awesome, man. Well, I'm so happy that you've kind of found your your love and your passion for music, to, and it's pushed you to you know really focus on becoming a DJ and a performer. So now that you're up in Taipei, what are you trying to focus on within the world of music? Let's say in 2021 and beyond. 紧接着，哈斯提到说啊，他打算就从表演活动开始去找一些工作机会，不管是要做什么风格的音乐，他都接，而不是就只是局限在某一种风格。为什么嘞？因为这样子一来，不但增加他的演出机会，也可以让整个表演经验更丰富、更精彩，不会说哎、欸，都都只是弄一种风格就变得很单调啊什么的。那这边就要用到一个实用到爆棚的双重比较级的这个句型，我们也来给大家练习练习。这越怎么样就越怎么样。英文的基本句型架构是 the more 什么什么 the more 什么什么，就是两个比较的形容词，两个比较的东西会放在一起用。像等一下这样说 ：the more flexible you can be with your music, the more fun you will have. 意思就是说，你做的音乐风格越有弹性，就会越有趣、越好玩啊。或者你也可以把两个比较级形容词放在一起用，像夏天开冷气的时候，如果人家问你说：“哎，要开几度？要开多冷？”啊，你就想要越冷越好啊。那这句“这个越冷越好”就可以说 “The colder, the better”， 或者是像英文有一句用来形容人越多越好。的这句说法呢，就也是同样的用法。The more, the merrier. 越多越好。赶快来听吧。Um, I would say that right now I will be more focused on the my DJ career, especially like I just moved to Taipei. So I mean, I will start looking at some clubs or some performers to with like I can playing at, no matter which music genre. Yeah. So basically, you're saying you can. Stay flexible with the genres you're playing. You know, one yeah, night right, you right, play right. trance, one night you play techno, one mm-hmm. night you play hip hop. Exactly. Yeah, and I think that really works well for for the Taipei music scene. You know, the more flexible you can be with your musics, the more fun you'll have too. You know, like you're like, yeah, right. Every night you're not stuck playing one genre. And also, I won't get bored if I just only play in one genre. I、mm-hmm. can play some different, and I like to clap some different music. Like back at home in Gaosheng, I have some. Vinyls with like the different music, like house vinyls or hip hop vinyls, and they are all really, really cool. And I like to listening some more music like online sometimes, especially some producers from abroad, not just like Taiwanese producers. Nice, brother. If you don't mind, can we transition a little bit into the story of your language journey? Yes, definitely. So it's so cool that your DJ name actually came because you were writing English homework at a cram school, right? So I'm thinking your English maybe got a lot better because you fell in love with music. Is that correct? 再来，他分享到啊，虽然本身对音乐的热爱多少对他的英文能力提升有一些帮助，但其实也有部分原因是因为他的 DJ 老师跟还有老板主管都是外国人，所以让他也变得就是非得开口说英文不可。那也就是长期在这样子的情况下，让他的英文口说有大幅的进步。而且加上他在台上演出，然后要跟底下观众互动、炒热气氛的时候，也常常都会要说英文。虽然说只是简单的几句那种、那种把手举起来 ，Put your hands up，Put your hands in the air， 我我念起来超乖的，不适合当 DJ。好，虽然说就只是几句这种简单的，但我想在无形之中也是让他慢慢习惯去讲英文，不会说。哎，遇到要讲英文的情境就退避三舍这样子。那现在就继续来听吧。Um, I would say it's like eighty-five percent correct. 
one of the reason I'm starting speaking English because、uh, my boss they were American, so I have to speak English. Oh, as well, my DJ teacher is from UK, so I must speak English as well. So that's why my English gets better and better. Nice man, yeah, and it makes sense. And I'm thinking also about you know when you are DJing, are you speaking on the mic when you're doing like crowd control? Are you speaking in Chinese and in English? I'm speaking both, but most of the time I was speaking English. Yeah, it's so interesting. Most of my Taiwanese DJ friends they speak in English, and I wonder if that's just because you know it's almost the international language of music, or why? Why do you think that is? Well, because、uh, sometimes there's、uh, there are some foreigners in the dance pool, so they probably don't understand some Chinese. So we have to use English. That's much easier. And also, I think Taiwanese must know some English as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least, uh, put your hands up. <laughs> yeah, especially like one, three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice, man. And so, what I love about you too is you focused a lot of your work down in Gaoshong on creating these festivals, these kind of like spring break festivals in Kanding and different spots. So, can you share a bit about that with your language journey? 在这段内容里呢，来宾又再举两个他常常会用到英文的例子。像他当舞台经理的时候啊，常常会需要跟很多不同部门、不同的相关负责人沟通，处理活动场地的事情。那因为这些负责人很多都不是台湾人，加上参加活动的客人也不少都是外国交换学生，所以英文自然而然呢就变成是主要的沟通工具。或是如果跟别人有意见不合啊，有没有可能沟通开始越演越烈的时候，他也都是继续用英文跟对方吵，因为对方的中文能力不见得有到了可以吵架的地步。如果哈斯用中文跟人家吵的话，可能就会出现那种像在对牛弹琴的状况，就比较没有意义，所以就会直接直接用英文来来跟人家对杠。那这边讲的 arguments 跟 fights， 很多人都觉得好像是一样的事情，但其实跟我们中文争论和吵架一样，还是有程度上的差别啦。像 argue 呢，它是争论某件事情，是就事论事；那 fight 吵架的话呢，就你知道不分青红皂白的吵乱吵，意思就是很相近啦，但是还是要注意一下其中一小小的区别。Yes, like、uh, I remember back in the days in 2018, there was like my first time to doing the stage manager stuff. So when I'm doing this, I I need to confront a lot of stuff with the no matter the artist or the、um, my boss or some customers. So most of the time, I need to use ling、uh, English because. Yeah, like we got like a lot of exchange students, customers that are coming to the festivals. So yeah, so I'm I'm kind of feeling it because in this situation, so I have to speak English to them. So that's why my English becomes so fluent. And also like when I have some arguments with the customers or my boss, I use English. It's more easier because if I use Chinese, they probably don't understand what I'm talking about. So I use if if I use English. It will be much easier if we are doing some arguments or some meetings. <laughs> yeah, man, I I definitely can understand that you're speaking to their heart when you're arguing with them in English. <laughs> They're especially、language. when we are fighting. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very true. <clears throat> well, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. And me too, me too. If you could go back in time and talk to a younger Daniel, would there be any advice you'd give yourself about language or life or music? 最后 ，DJ 哈是在这边提到啊，他真心希望自己在大学的时候可以好好念书，认真上课，真的要去把想学的法文和西班牙文给他学起来，而不是说因为工作忙就借口放弃。好，赶快听最后这段内容吧。Well, I would tell myself like study harder in the college because I used to want to learn some Spanish. Or French, but I gave it up because that was way too hard, and I was being too lazy. And also, the main reason is that my work is too busy, so I don't really have time to study or talk to people whose、um, the mother language is French or Spanish. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And you know, you you speak English fluently now too, and and I think that's a very important. Yeah, like、set. even now, I speak in English more than Chinese. Really. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And now that you're in Taipei, you'll probably speak it even more. 
I think so. In Kaohsiung, it's already more, but in Taipei, I'm pretty sure most of the time I wish speak English. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Awesome, brother. Well, where can people kind of find more about your music? Maybe where they can find some shows that you're gonna play. Well, you can and you can add me on Instagram, it's called DJ Haas, and also my Facebook. Is, you can find me as DJ Haas as well. You send me the message, and I will see it like immediately. And he will not respond. I will respond. John is the one who is not responding. Because I don't check my I don't check my Facebook message or my Instagram messages. I was like, bro, you have my line. Message me online. <laughs> oh yeah, but I don't use them that much. Oh really? Well, because I'm I'm a lazy person to respond to the messages, and also like I like to so look at social medias yeah. more. Yeah, so you're more on Instagram, Instagram, right? Awesome, brother. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you on NG Ingwen, and shout out DJ Haas H A A S. Right. H A A S. DJ Rabbit in Dutch. Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. It. Awesome, brother. We'll talk to you soon. I will see you guys. Bye, everyone. Peace. Peace. All right. Well, that is our NG Ingwen show for today. We hope everyone enjoyed listening to that. You can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and now Spotify. You can search NG Ingwen or you can search on IG. NG English I C R T. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday morning from 6 30 to 7 and Wednesday night from 9 to 9 30. We'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye. 好啦，今天的节目就到这边告一段落啦。感谢各位的收听，别忘了订阅我们的 Spotify 还有 YouTube 频道哦。那喜欢我们节目的话，也要记得到 Instagram 到 IG 上追踪我们哦。如果各位有什么其他问题是想要问来宾的，也请欢迎在底下留言告诉我们，我们一定会想办法帮你问到手。好啦，那就下周在空中相会喽，拜拜。